Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back, and thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning. So in today's video, I will be doing this gorgeous, lighted, glamorous candy cane. So if you all would like to see how I created this look, why don't you queens and kings, please continue to watch. All right, Queens and Kings, so for the first one of the items that you would need material-wise, you would need this Dollar Tree wire wreath here. Um, they have them in small and large, and this is the smallest candy cane wreath. As well as these LED light sets here, which I actually have them in red, and they come in various colors. I have some silver metallic spray paint from Walmart as well as these gems here that I purchased from Amazon, which you could find in my Amazon storefront, which I will leave down below. Okay, Queens and Kings, so I have already went ahead and started gluing some of my gems on here. And the reason for that is because this video would have been very long if I'd actually did gem by gem, and it's very repetitive. So what I did here is basically place a nice amount of glue on each end of the wreath. Um, wherever you feel like the gem is going to touch, that's where you need to place your hot glue at. And I am using Gorilla Glue Stick, and I'm using a very high temperature glue gun, which I don't advise because you will burn yourself, and you're going to see that I'm going to burn myself a couple times in this video. I'm going to continue placing some hot glue on one end of the wreath on the opposite end. Like I said, where anywhere you feel like that the gem is going to touch, that's basically how I'm placing the hot glue down. So now I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit more so show you guys exactly what I'm doing once again. And where I feel like the gem is going to touch, that's where I'm going to place glue at. Okay, queens and kings, so now I'm getting to a wider part of the reef, and basically that's what I'm showing you guys here where the gem is not touching on me. Now, you, to solve this problem, you could actually buy bigger gems and place the hot glue to bigger gems there, but I'm just going to use some wire reef or floor reef that I did have in the house, and I'm basically going to thread it through for it could touch and meet each other to support the gem, so therefore it does not fall. And I got this floor re wire from... Dollar Tree as well. Um, and I had it for a minute now. So basically, I'm taking it through, like I said, like a uh, needle and thread, pretty much. This is one way you can do this, but there's another way, and I'm going to show you guys that also as well, because I know you guys are like, well, if you just gluing the gems on it, continue doing the same thing. Why is the video so long? Because I know someone that's going to ask, is there another way to actually do it? Actually, there are several ways to do it. So, but I'm going to show you at least three in this video, which I showed you one, and this is the second one, and then I will show you the third. Okay, so now that I have thread my wire, now this method here 
you may need something to protect your fingers. I do not advise you to use a very high temperature glue gun. You could use a low temperature glue gun and does this as well. But if you're afraid of the hot glue, if it touch your finger, please use something to protect your finger. So what I'm doing here is doing the same method, but by this wire a little bit thinner. So therefore I have glue actually dripping. So you want to protect your surface as well. But I'm doing the same method, I'm placing some hot glue down and I'm placing the gem directly on top of there. The wire is just basically to help support the gem so therefore it doesn't fall through. Now you can see that I did flip the candle, the candle, <laughs> the can of cane over and all I did was basically wherever the gems connect, once the glue dry, I just placed some hot glue on the back of the gem. So therefore I, that could give me some extra support and stability so therefore i don't have to worry about these falling through or anything like that All right, so for the third and final method that I decided to use is basically some bling wrap. And I'm gonna use the bling wrap to glue on there to help support the gems from falling through as well because like I said, certain parts of this wreath here is actually wider. Um, the middle portion and the edges are so, you see wherever I was able to glue the gems down to those areas that were smaller and thinner. But this area here is a little bit wider. And I was like, okay, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to put bigger gems. But, hey, I decided to try some bling wrap other than the wire method. Okay, so here, all I'm doing here is basically placing some hot glue onto the wreath as well as some onto the bling wrap. And this is basically how I'm going to connect them together. Now, there's going to be a gap in between them, a small gap, but you will see how I was actually filled that gap in a little later in the video. So place some hot glue down, put some onto the bling wrap as well as the wire wreath and you're going to connect them that way or you can also put a little tab a dab of glue onto one of the gems place some onto the wire as well as the bling wrap and you can connect them that way so whatever floats your boat whatever fits for you whatever method worked for you i would say go for it but the way that this turned out it is so beautiful it is so beautiful so either way will work just fine Okay, so you see the gap that's in between where the bling wrap and the gem actually meet. It did not connect completely because this portion of the reef is much wider. So you may want to pick up bigger gems. Um, I will link these gems down below, like I said, in my storefront because I'm not sure exactly what size they are at this moment, but that will work. So I use the gems to cover it in and that's just as fine and easy as that in it looks good to me. What you queens and kings think so far? Beautiful, right? So here I done made a boat off camera. And basically I'm going to use a boat, place it on there. I'm going to use some of this uh, floral wire to connect it. That's basically what I'm showing you guys here. And I think this is just going to be just so simple. And just beautiful. Just beautiful. So now that my wreath is complete, my candy cane is complete. I mean to say, and my boat is attached. Basically, I'm showing you guys in a moment here. I'm going to flip it over and show you where I have already went off camera um, and tape my lights onto the back of it. Because it wasn't that many. The packet wasn't that big as you all see there. But I just got some clear tape and I just taped it on the back of it. That's it. Put some batteries in there and I'm going to hang this up on the door. And it's going to be one beautiful lighted cannon, cannon cane reef.
all right queens and kings so here she is all light up and i love the red i didn't think i would actually love the red but what inspired me is because you guys know i'm doing vlogmas and i did my balcony with some red candy canes and they light up red and stuff so that's the reason why i wanted to do this but i love the way that it looks with the lights on as well as with the lights off the light so the color is option to you and i apologize for the light being so bright those light bulbs are from the dollar tree matter of fact <laughs> but this is pretty much how i look with the lights on and i love it either way with lights on or lights off so i hope you queens and kings enjoyed this video if you all did please like comment share and subscribe and I want to show you guys the other wreath that I do have also hanging up at my door. Is this one here where I use Dollar Tree candy cane wreath from last year. Which I will link this video down below. It will be at the end of the video as well. So you queens and kings check it out. If you guys enjoy and you want to see how I made this one. Go check that video out. And I will talk to you queens and kings in the next video. You guys continue to be royal. Bye bye.